released in 2015, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is now almost 5 years old. The Note 5 is the first Note to feature a premium glass and aluminum design. I use this phone since its launch and as you can see, it has a lot of scratches all over its body. I am very impressed however, because during my usage I dropped it a lot and it never cracked the screen or the back. The Note 5 has a 5.7 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display. Because of the top and bottom bezel and also the old screen format, it is a very big and wide device. It has also a flat display, which makes this device feel even wider. And by the time of filming this video, the Note 5 is still the last flagship Note to have a flat screen. That aside, the quality of the display is still incredible. It is very sharp and with very accurate colors. It is also very bright and because of the flat sides, you have no distortion. The Note 5 is powered by Exynos 7420 and it has 4GB of RAM. The first two years it was a top performer, then it started to slow down. It can still do basic things, but if you try to play games it will lag quite a lot, even if they are light games. The RAM management is also very poor, and the software is to blame. It runs Android 7 and doesn't get any updates for a while now. This phone did suffer Samsung statues all its life, which was very bad compared to the new One UI. The base storage of this phone is 32GB, with no microSD card support. The Samsung Galaxy Note 5 has a single 16MP camera. Of course, it can't compete with phones that came in 2019, but the camera on this phone is still very good. In daylight pictures are sharp with nice colors, but the dynamic range is very weak. It is low light where this phone does feel its age, pictures lack detail and have a lot of noise. It can record videos up to 4K, but the stabilization isn't that great. It gets better however if you switch to 1080p, but then you lose sharpness. The Note 5 is equipped with a 5 megapixel front facing camera and the results aren't that good. Pictures are very noisy with no dynamic range at all. In low light, this camera becomes almost unusable. Take a look at these samples I've taken with the Note 5 and judge for yourself. The Note 5 has only a single firing speaker on the bottom, it is loud and clear and it can still compete with today's mid-range phones. It doesn't come close however to the phones that have stereo speakers. It has also a headphone jack, which is very rare these days. Like with every Note, the S Pen got improved with the Note 5, with the screen of memo being the best feature. My S Pen still does work without any problem, but I broke the click-in mechanism. The Note 5 has a 3000 mAh battery and at the time it did last me quite a lot. With time however, the battery life got reduced and now it can barely last half a day. It uses an old micro USB port for charging, it does also support wireless charging. It is also the first Note to have a sealed battery, which caused a lot of backlash back then. The Note fans were also disappointed with the lack of a micro USB card and an IR blaster. The fingerprint scanner however was very improved compared to the previous model. So in conclusion, is the Note 5 still worth in 2020? Well, I would say no, because this phone has already an outdated software and the performance isn't that good either. If you only want this phone to do calling and social media, then I would say go for it. Of course if you can find one that isn't used that much and for a price under 120 bucks.